right. Now, question 21. A B.W. Beetle. Blue one, no punchbacks. All right. It's accelerating from V naught is equal to zero. Accelerating from zero to 60 miles per hour. So here we have an acceleration. And so we're going to go from zero to 60, does it say miles per hour? Yes, miles per hour. So we're going to have to convert here. All right, 60 miles per hour with an acceleration of plus 2.35 meters per second squared. Now they say plus, interesting, we have a positive acceleration and a positive change in velocity, right? Positive velocity. Since we're starting at zero, whatever direction our acceleration will be, is going to be, or is given as, will be the direction of our final velocity. So since acceleration was positive, our final accelerate or final velocity will also be positive. All right, it says that uh, how much time does it take for the beetle to reach the speed? So t is what we want to know. All right, so now there's our drawing for d. All right, now we go down to u, unknowns and knowns. Unknown, well, we just said that t is our I don't know. So what else do we have that we're given? We have v naught is equal to zero. We have final velocity equal to 60 miles per hour, which we will now convert. An hour is 60 minutes. Well, let's just go ahead and do that the one step way. You guys know an hour is 3,600 seconds. And then a mile, 1,609 meters. So our final velocity, we'll have to use a calculator for, is equal to 26.8 meters per second, okay? It's probably a pretty good idea for you to know, just for the sake of what's a reasonable answer, is that one meter per second is approximately two miles per hour. It's a little bit more, okay? But just good to know that. All right, and then the last thing that we're given is our acceleration. So we have an acceleration of 2.35 meters per second squared. All right, as always, what we don't have in here is the thing that's probably gonna tell us which relationship we're gonna use. We have time, we have initial velocity, we have final velocity, and we have acceleration. What is it that we're missing? delta x. All right, so this is one where we don't have any displacement. So we are going to solve for time by using Votat. Votat is the one that has velocity, v naught, acceleration, and time. That's our formula, okay? Now what we have to do is this, this time we do have to do some algebra because we're looking for the amount of time that this is going to take. So we're going to have to just rearrange this equation. So time is going to be equal to V minus V naught over the acceleration. Now we're going to go ahead and solve by plugging in the, uh, the known values as given and simplifying. So T is equal to V, our final velocity, 60 miles per hour, or as we gave it, 26.8 meters per second. minus zero, our gift of V naught equal to zero, divided by our acceleration, 2.35 meters per second squared. All right, even before we crank out these numbers, let's take a look at a unit analysis. Meters per second divided by meters per second squared. Right, since that's in the denominator, we will quote, invert, and multiply, which is not really, as you know, actual mathematical operation. Can't find it on your calculator. But what we do end up with is seconds when we cancel all those things out. All right, so we know that we've set this up probably correctly if we have come up with the correct units at the end. All right, so let's make that blue and be consistent. All right, so T is going to be equal to 26.8 meters per second divided by 2.35 meters per second squared is equal to 11.4 seconds. So it takes the Volkswagen Beetle 11.4 seconds 
to accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour. I gotta say that's kind of slow. All right, now we're gonna do part B on a separate video.